Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick how to stroke tutorial guide on the new auto drive version 1.1.0.4. Just basically to show people how to get started in it, create simple loops, waypoints, and things like that. First things first, you need to open the auto drive menu that you can see on the right hand side. To get mine up I just press Alt and 0 and it makes it disappear and pop up and I've got mine mapped to uh, the middle scroll wheel if I press it it pulls up the cursor to be able to enable me then to click on the different buttons we need to set everything up. Let's start by just creating a simple route for the tractor to follow so if I go on to the right hand side to the triangle with the explanation mark click on it it'll bring me up another four boxes on the left hand side where it says record if I click with my left mouse button it brings up a red circle ready to record that will just record simple one direction follow if I click on it again it will stop recording if I click on it with my right mouse button it brings up a purple dot that enables traffic to travel in two directions so I only need to do one line rather than two lines to start off we will just do a simple line just one direction so if I click my left mouse button it will come up with a red circle as soon as I start to drive forward you can see it's starting to map the line that I'm wanting to do should be far enough Click my left mouse button again to enable your tractor to be able to follow it to a certain point you've got to add a waypoint if you go third button over to the right from record it will say create edit target click on that insert a name I'll just call this one enter to create and it's created a waypoint if I go back to the start now now we're back to the start if I select it it says the destination it's directed to as waypoint 1 if I click save, just save it as route 1 it'll come up then telling me when I created it and the time I created it if I go back out of that now if I click the power button it enables and disables your auto drive if I click on it the tractor starts to follow at waypoints as you can see the line where it's aiming for shows up white now we've got the destination it says driver of the tractor has reached one so now if I wanted to have another waypoint just drive forward again this time I'll do a purple line so it enables traffic to go both directions so if I right click on it comes up purple just do a simple loop stop it 
Now if I click on the save again, root one and quick save. Quick overwrite. So now wherever I am, if I click on drive, it'll automatically find nearest line and direct straight to that waypoint. One thing to bear in mind that if you're doing waypoints over long distances, if you've only got your line set as a green line, that's only one direction traffic. So your tractor will be able to follow it one way, but you'll not be able to return your tractor back to another waypoint unless you have a separate line running in both directions. That's where the the line for both multi-direction comes in handy. You can set that, drive to a certain point, set two waypoints, one at either end, and then quick go, and it'll drive either way up the line. While you're in edit mode, if you click left control it pulls up another set of icons with red dots on all these items here as you can see I've added a multi-directional line just to close loop off to do this all I did is I pressed left control and it pulls up these little red balls each ball is on a different marker if I click on that ball and then quick the ball I want to disconnect from it comes up as a single direction line if I do it again click on it it removes the line to add it back in just click on the ball you want to join from and want to join to and it puts in a single line opposite direction puts in a multi-direction line if we go on to save save it as route 1 again and back wherever we are now as soon as I quick go it'll find shortest route to get to his destination I find this mode handy when I'm wanting to get from point A to point B we are having to mess about driving the tractor all the time. So I'll set a waypoint at my farm, set one at the shop and then quick go and just let tractor drive itself. What I'm going to do now is just draw a simple route from the farm to the shop but this time I'm going to use a multi-directional line so we can travel in both directions. So first I go to the record button, right click so it comes up purple for multi-directional and then I'll create a waypoint. I'll just call this waypoint farm. So now if I drive to the shop. When driving and plotting routes, auto drive don't rely on your speed of your tractor. It automatically sets a set a set speed, so you can drive at 10 mile an hour, 20 or 50 mile an hour. Your tractors will just automatically drive at the maximum speed they're capable of, unless you change it to a different speed.
now we're at the shop I'll just stop it create another waypoint this time call it shop and what I'll do is I'll save it I'll just save it under route 1 again overwrite now what I can do if I go into this menu here I've got farm one and shop so if I click on farm click on drive tractor will automatically drive back to the farm where his waypoint is I can change speed the tractor drives it by this button down here next to the editor button if I right click on it the speed starts to go down so if I set it to 20 the tractor will do 20 if I left click on it the speed goes up all the way up to maximum speed of the tractor which for this tractor is 26 mile an hour I think we'll end it here for this episode so if you haven't already don't forget to click that sub button and hit the like button thanks for watching